Here we go. And expected, yeah, by now is expected Mesosif's war. And they are. We see uh, Kshokshong with Aztecs and the same Barry. Aztec war. It's a desert like Arabia. Uh, Kshokshong has forward gold. Yeah, forward gold and both stones forward. Then the wood here is safe because it is closed until the end of the map, which is good. In the left side though, that wood is a bit far away from the town center. So he might be really, really careful. The other wood for Kshokshong, except this one, which is... Oh, it's, it's good. It's good for him. The others are pretty far away. And in front, not very easy to wall, but also not impossible to wall. Thanks to those cliffs, yeah, he can make some houses, palisades between the cliffs or between the cliff and the edge. Uh, well, the, that forest close to the edge of the map, so he can close it. On the other side, Barry, he has uh, sight gold, but uh, easy to protect with some houses and palisades between these two forests. And after that, he will have everything that corner, the north corner, uh, completely walled, completely safe. He has also a stone mine inside his base. In the right side, again, if he goes to wall like this, forest and edge of the map, uh, he will be safe. And in front of the berries, uh, close to this hill, he can place the barracks, the archery range later on, some houses, and he has a really, really good map. Better map, clearly better map for Barry. Clearly better, uh, better map for Barry, but let's see how they play, how aggressive they can be. We have seen, uh, we have seen players uh, choosing uh, different, uh, uh, I mean, different uh, strategies for this one. For example, they can go with the standard uh, drush, five militias drush, since both the, they are Aztecs. So five militia drush, then uh, a wall and fast castle, uh, or. They can go even a fast feudal age, 22 or 23 population, and on the way to feudal age to build the barrack, a few militias, and once in feudal age, men at arms, and from there to increase the pressure. Barry also pushed the first deer to the town center, so that's really, really good, can help him, can help, can help him. And we see he's now bringing the sec the first board, sorry, the first board to the town center. Same did uh, Xiaoxiong, now building a house. And after this one, is he? No, he won't go for the second board. Anyway, interesting that he has three deers really close to a future mill. Yeah, well, not completely close, but also not too far away. And uh, three other more, not far away from the first one. So let's see. Yeah, he's sending the villager to build already uh, the mill, the mill, and oh, 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 laming, laming, only now I saw it, guys, laming, 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 so we see the Chinese player, Chuck Chong, taking one boar from Barry, whoa, oh, -ho. okay, and he's bringing, he's bringing, it's over four minutes, so no possibility to ask for a restart they'll have to play it let's see barry's deers well he will have to push more deers the first lame the first lame he's going straight to his town center and he will send the villager to bring the other let's see if barry in return will be able to find the second boar of xiaoxiong and will lame it anyway the second boar is in and I don't see Barry going in the right direction. So the Chinese player might send this villager, build a house and go for the third boar, his second boar. Whoa! Now that's something. And Barry, well he pushed two deers, okay. And he has one more. I think he will send the villagers to take the last one as well. Uh, probably some laggish, a little bit of lag. 17 pop for Xiaoxiong and 17 as well for Barry. Let's see what Barry now decides to do. Already see these two houses. I, I'm expecting from him to build a barrack close to these houses and then to continue and uh, close his base completely. The, uh, here in front, 
in front of that stone and the mill and on the other side he might go uh, and take advantage also of that gold forest gold gold forest or like this or straight between the two forests he explored yeah the the surroundings of his town center so he know exactly where to wall where to wall while let's see for Xiaoxiong now building a house well he's pretty wide open in front of his town center maybe he will do some buildings uh, to, to join it with this wood with this forest to have the lumberjacks safe anyway i'm uh, i'm expecting him or i assume that he will place the barrack close to this uh, main gold to this main gold so in case uh, he's gonna need it to have the military building just in the range as expected barry building now the barrack close to that uh, close to that house and he will continue with the wall pretty sure of that well it it looks like the game is laggish baggish between them anyway oh, oh, oh sending the villager now for the third boar and barry is there with the scout he can see it or he cannot see it it's too late it's too late now barry could see that boar but the villager that villager with with lu it won't be a problem to take it to the town center barry is trying to micro his scout to deny Xiaoxiong going for that and expected barrack for Xiaoxiong uh, close to that gold that's a good one 20 population for him and 20 population for Barry let's see if Barry manages to but now nah, that that villager with uh, loom like I said even if uh, if he get hits a few time but by, by that boar oh, oh, oh but let's see look at Barry's look at Barry micro with his with his scout but that boy is getting closer and closer to the town center and 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 he lost the villager saving it but he's gonna send another video okay he's taking it he's taking it is he taking it if he's hit it one and two times he might be able to take back the boar and he's taking the boar barry unbelievable he is taking the boar at least he's uh, he's delaying at least delaying shock chong in taking the third boar because i expect that shock chong will go with the eagle to try and take it back whoa look at that look at that 22 population for Barry 23 now he's going militias already the same for Xiaoxiong. Chong I see already a few militias in the barrack let's see where is he going Barry relaming oh my oh my is Xiaoxiong Chong managed to well he has the scout really close let's see if Barry well barry can see it and maybe he will even use those oh, oh, oh he's trying to stop the boar he's trying to stop the boar barry is going barry is going still going four and fifth militia incoming for him but he stopped the boar it seems that he stopped the boar let's see oh my god he stopped the boar the game now one more hit and the boar continues to follow oh 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 i don't think he'll get it though really i don't think he'll get it really low hit points for barry <laughs> anyway he's going no the boar is going back the boar is going back oh he will use he will use a militia oh he will try to kill the boar look at this so barry preferred to kill the boar and not leave it to xiao chong <laughs> 31 population barry back the and 31 as well for xiao chong okay the militias are continuing to go there while barry is fully walled in front 
and he will wall also in the other side and I see already a villager for Barry not far away from there yes and as expected he will wall between the forest and the other forest and then will complete the wall will finish completely the wall let's see five militias to five militias I'll try to tell them for Barry to host yeah it is it is laggy I agree it's very laggy okay Barry using also a villager to fight let's see well he lost a militia but now that villager might help might help let's see one militia also for Chao Chong down now three militias for Barry and the villager while only two left from Shao Chong and the scout Barry avoiding to lose his scout only four hit points left for that one if he gets one hit, one more hit for the militia is bye bye. And he's gonna lose the, the eagle. Barry is going to lose the eagle. No man, this game it lags because it lags between them. You see, the game speed is now 50% and still laggy. Why? Why it's not like that? Why it's not like this? You know, with uh, someone from Europe or someone with a strong connection. So it's running. It's running a little bit okayish but still freezing still framing that's my point i can put it e even in 30 percent speed and it will run like this it's something between them and most likely the host i will suggest barry to be the host next game I like, you know, how how some people think that uh, just with some simple things you you can fix you can fix this. I appreciate I appreciate this, but you know the you know the word been there done that when the game is running like this. Ninety percent of the time is something in game, something in game. Anyway. Yeah, it's running, stopping, and is not is not fast speed anymore. As you can see, when it's going to run in fast speed again, I will decrease to fifty percent. But this is how the game runs because of the host connection, not me. Okay, the two militias for Barry. Now getting inside Kshokshong's base, we see Kshokshong on the way to feudal age 31 population, 29 for, for Barry, and he has a lot of farms, 2, 4, 6 farms, managed to wall everything though. Barry is now fully walled, and he's also on the way to feudal age, but faster, anyway he's faster. Kshokshong uh, also with a lot of farms, even more than Barry, 2, 4, 6, 8 farms, while Barry adding now more, 2, 4, 6, 7, and probably he will make one more. Bullet Chen. Do you really think if I make 
the connection, I mean, the, the speed to run a 10% slow, it will get better. Like I said, now it's 50% and it's the same. There you go, 34% speed. Ah. Ah. Okay, Feudal Age for Barry. Feudal Age for Barry. His resources looking okay while Xiao Xiong sending three villages forward. 33 population for Xiao Xiong. He is in Feudal Age researching the Men at Arms upgrade. Whoa! And he has two, four, but Barry can see the three villes incoming at him. Okay, now the wolf is attacking. He doesn't have any other AKA blacksmith for Barry. No, but Barry will be on the way to Castle Age and Xiao Xiong is still really far away. He's still far away. One defensive tower for Barry to protect the wood. He has archery range up. Blacksmith up. Men at arms for Xiao Xiong and the villagers incoming and stream ended. Okay guys, stream ended, so they saved, wait, 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 what happened? Hm. Damn, let me message. Well, wait, I, I, I'm asking Barry. Ah, okay. So guys, we didn't see, but Barry won the first game. So the game was running. So the, the game was running. The game was running so bad that they finished the game. Barry won, guys. Barry, I, I just messaged him. Like, what? Because I thought they they are saved in the restore. You know, save, they exit and, and they will restore. But no, Barry won the first game. So I imagine that, I imagine that once Barry reached castle age he just uh, i mean chok shong just called uh, gg because he was really really way behind okay game number two and game number four they are home map now for chok shong Loser of game one. Ah, let me play a fast commercial and wait for them to start game number two. And game, uh, game three and game five is the home map for Barry. Two home maps each they have in this stage. The spec delay is displayed. I will link if some of them will give me the link for the Chinese stream. I will link it here as well. 
in the in the chat so whoever has a decent connection if here it's going like it was the first game maybe they can watch the chinese stream better and here it is guys control c control v this is the chinese stream Not sure how well it's working, but you can try. Okie dokie, game number two, home map for Xiaoxiong and is Nomad. One map that Barry also plays very good, but the Chinese players really love this map, really love this map. So many of them going with Nomad Migration, also another map that they really like. And we see now Chinese for Xiaoxiong, really interesting, while Barry Persians. So Persians versus Chinese. Let's see where they are building. Xiaoxiong already started to build the town center close to the water. He doesn't have around his town center too much hunt unless he finds this up in the north while barry barry i saw i saw a dog i hope he's not an inside one no okay in that corner for barry well he will have two deep fish very close to that dog and the others are a little bit further away but nevertheless for a first dog that's a good one well he has the villager he didn't uh, came back yet Salam. Salam. And Barry still trying to find a place for his town center. Ay ay ay. We might see a, a recall here by Barry. Yeah, he still didn't find a proper place for the town center. Now he finds wood, but he lost already two and a half minutes. He lost already two and a half minutes. And it's another pause, or so it seems. Now the game is running again. I hope it will not run like the previous one. No, now it seems that it's okay-ish. Barry finding Chokchong's town center. He was passing with the villager really, really, really close. Well still going away while Xiaoxiong is researching Loom and restart I expect I expect a restart from Barry he didn't still didn't uh, start to build the town center while Xiaoxiong is already taking one board look at Barry trying to to build a house to deny that boar but now nah, he won't be able and restart just before four minutes mark for barry expected bad start for him bad start for him okay Ooh. What really? 33 Ks? No man. No way. <laughs> like this guy is saying, no way. That can't be. This can't be man. Let's see. Because I have to mute it probably. Well, it's not connecting for me. I don't know what to say. Ah, okay. 对于小熊来说是至关重要的啊第一把阿拉伯已经贵了是吧第二把自选再丢那第三把是对方的自选那基本上也要丢零比三不可能拿回来不可能拿回来可能性很小第一把怎么说第一把刚才我们看到地形对
I couldn't uh, well I I couldn't uh, mute it because they have some advertisement just in front of that speaker sign. Damn, this is crazy. <laughs> Woo. Uh, okay. Another rerun from the Nomad game. Bakti with Persians and Xiaoxiong with Chinese. Let's see now where they are placing their town centers. Mm -hmm. I know, I know it is because last time I, w I was able to mute it, but now it was some advertisement in front of that one, in front of the sign with the speaker, so I couldn't. Anyway, it doesn't matter. If you guys say they have 100k viewers, then it's awesome. It's awesome. Again, Xiaoxiong already building the town center. He has one boar really close and I think he will also find this. But now a good place, a good placement also for Barry. And again, the dog in a good place, one corner. He will have how many? Uh, two deep fish really close to the dog. The others not that close. So he will have to build another one later on. Loom researched by Xiaoxiong already. Let's see, three villagers for them. And I forgot that with tons of viewers, you have to, you must to, you gotta uh, type chat off instead of uh, uh, beep off, you know. Anyway, three vills for Barry, while six already for Xiaoxiong, Chinese. The Chinese Sif power. He can see those two boars. And he's taking already that one. Where are the other boars? Oh, in the fog of war. In the fog of war. So for one tile, he missed both boars because he's not far away from those. And he could take at least one from, from those two. At least one. But he missed it. He missed it for one tile. Anyway. Barry will be able to recover uh, thanks to the th thanks to the faster dock and uh, future future faster uh, fishing ships. This is the power of the Persians. In return, they are able to build the town center and a dock. And now Barry sending the villager to take the first boar. After after sending the vill to 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 what? He found some some other free. No, he's building a house. Okay, Barry already thinking how to wall actually between them. Did he see? Did he see Xiaoxiong Town Center? Let's see. No, he didn't. But he's uh, well, he's walling a little bit preventive in front. Nine wheels, ten wheels now for Barry and eleven. See how fast Barry recovered on the way to already uh, have the second fishing ship while Xiaoxiong now finished his dock and will go obviously fishing ships as well. Xiaoxiong now sending the villagers to where? Could he see either the deers or the boars in the north? If I put the fog of war he can see the deers, okay. He can see the deers and oh and the boars fine maybe he will go with a mill close to the oh, oh, oh a village oh, a villager and he might take the boar he might take the boar while barry sending now a villager and taking the boar ay 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 one second later for chok chong damn unbelievable unbelievable but barry now has that boar in the town center and he's sending his own villager to fight the other one, okay, he denying, he's denying Xiao Xiong of finishing that house and uh, he prefers to go back home. 15 population for Xiao Xiong, still no, now the first fishing ship for him, now, oh, 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 and that boar was going back from Barry, 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 what are you doing, almost losing the second boar. Both players laughing, yeah, 16 population, 
Chok Chong 17 for Barry. Well, he managed to finish that house though. And he's sending the Ville to find obviously some more. Okay. He has one fishing ship, while Barry already four fishing ships and only two more Vils. No, for Barry as well. One villager and three more fishing ships. Population 2020, so why? 20 Vils and 4-2, but the population is only one for, for Barry. One more. Anyway, let's go back. Yeah, for now the fifth fishing ship and two for Xiao Xiong. Well, Barry, like I said, he recovered. And now the Chinese player sending villagers to, to take those deers, most likely. And, well, some aggressive things from the Chinese player. That villager from Barry will go safely, uh, will go safely back home. And Barry, can he see? Oh, he can see the deers there. If he sends villagers, yeah, he will find... Look how many deers, guys. Five, seven, nine, eleven deers. That's 1.5k or close to 1.5k food. That's crazy. That's really, really crazy. Barry is on the way to feudal age. Bakti on the way to feudal age. 24 population. While with 26, Chokshong still making some villages. And sending more vils to that mill and taking the deers. He will probably take also the the boars, the two boars. And in the process he might find this one. Which actually is closer to the mills than those two boars. Anyway, the villager, that villager for Chokshong still walking. Now he has three, five fishing ships. But still needs more time to go up to feudal age started to wall now okay he started to wall now 31 population for him 25 for barry for bacti is he building another dock bacti no he sits he still sits with only one okay now one house yeah the chinese player will also wall here between them but we see Barry uh, sending the villagers to take deers while Xiao Xiong is walling between them. But one villager from Barry going out. Oh, oh, oh. And Barry is hitting already the other villager. Let's see. This is some, uh, some vil fights. The Chinese player bringing now more villagers into the fight. Especially this one. This one. Oh, 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 oh. Now two vils for one there, Barry going back with the villagers, okay, return and finish that one. I expect that he will go back and will finish the palisade, exactly what he did. And ooh, Barry with the second dog really close to Xiao Chong's dog and already one galley coming out from that dog, the second from the other one. So he will snipe down those fishing ships, whoa, but the Chinese player still with deers and now able to take uh, yeah some more some more boars he can he will see for sure he will see the other one as well barry barry 31 population for him and he's building the barrack only now while 33 population for Chokchong. he sent away the fishing ships or he lost yeah he lost all the fishing ships probably no, 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 running away. Okay, running away. He will build another dock someplace else. He's trying to save them, but Barry will make another galley probably uh, to, to that to that dock and uh, will try and destroy all those fishing ships. Wall, wall between them, so nowhere. Nowhere to go in for Barry. Xiao Xiong building now the market and the blacksmith. He has that one boar and going for another boar. While Barry also with a villager in the north. He can see the two boars. And he might see that villager going to take the boar. 
fast house, fast house for Barry. Imagine if he plays a house in front of that villager. Well, Barry can see, can see, can see, but no reaction. Only now. Oh, only now. Okay, nothing to do there. One tower for Xiao Xiong without flinching. He's not, uh, he's not hitting those villagers yet. While Barry, a stable, a market. 36 population Xiao Xiong, while Barry will go up to castle age in a matter of seconds he's missing some food food that will come from the fishing ships obviously and there you go barry on the way to castle age while chok chong sending back the fishing ships but barry still with one galley close to the chinese player's dock and still able to mine that gold two more farms for him and well, now he's walling even more. Does he have another gold mine? No. Ooh, careful, Barry. That's the only gold mine he has in that side of the island. The other gold mines are all in the other side. Ay, ay, ay. Risky. Well, he can see another one. This one, for example. No, he's missing for one tile. He is missing for one tile. Anyway, Chuck Chong seems that will go back on water. Now he has two galleys let's see if barry will decide to make more not from that one from this one no he will go knights though he will go knights but the chinese player is also on the way to castle age 38 population for barry for bakti while 41 population for xiao Xiong. he seemed to be pretty low with resources now Barry has to go back because more galleys for the Chinese player. So even with two dogs and Chok Shong is taking the last boar as well. Barry is now in Castle Age. 41 pop for Chok Shong. Like I said, still low, only two, three, four farms. But now getting back those uh, fishing ships to work which actually can really help him a lot while 39 population for Bacti going knights going knights is he going a transport ship no fire ships from him and maybe a transport ship later oh but Barry now could can see those deers those deers and like I said 11 deers yeah building a mill 11 deers Poo, he will have tons of food thanks to that oh and Xiao Xiong didn't rebuild the wall and the knight is in one knight for Barry in his base he can send it to the stone miners for example yeah that knight still oh now, now he's closing okay one house a barrack for Xiao Xiong to go a few pikes well Barry still scouting the island but that's the only gold he has. That's that's not good. Demo ship for Barry. Barry taking the water back. Taking the water back. While let's see if Barry will go out to build to build a town center somewhere to those gold mines. That would be great for him. Siege workshop for Barry. While let's see Xiao Xiong what he does. 50 population. Back to 35 for Chok Chong doing a few spears, doing a few spears. But the water, the water is won. The water is won by by Bacti, that's for sure. Oh, and the night for Barry. Yeah, but some houses for for the Chinese player, and he's fine. And now that spear going to hit the the knight. Oh, he's trying to wall a little bit more, but he might lose one two bills. Let's see no flinching though for those galleys they are not so strong and the chinese player he managed to finish that house i expect really a transport ship from barry let's see he's also going fire ships but nah barry uh, bakti has way way more monastery monastery for chok chong that's always a good solution uh, he has yeah he's mining quite a lot of gold and an archery range for bakti Bakti will go a few arches or even crossbows to hit right away the gold miners. 
39 population Chao Chong still low. Oh, and it's a hole between the house and the wood. And back the inside with three knights. No upgrades though. And Xiao Chong is now building a castle. Building a castle. But Barry has already a manganel. Let's see if he'll be able to hit the villagers. Barry losing two out of the three knights. Saving one. Saving one. And the manganel hitting the villagers. Whoa! Barry lost a villager though, now the Chinese player is sending away the villagers and Barry continues to hit the tower, another incoming siege workshop and Chok Chong sending now more villagers to finish that castle, incoming knight from Barry still without any upgrades, even bloodlines, not even so, but losing a few more, that castle still needs more time, oh look at these shots man, losing so many villagers! And then he's still repairing, but hit the wheels, hit the wheels, Barry! Hit the wheels, sending them a few little more. Now he's gonna finish, the, the castle will be up finally. And is up, now destroying the mangonel and Barry is out of that gold. Anyway, archers, archers, archers that will hit those gold miners, okay. And even picking a relic, Shao Shong even picking a relic, he has the fletching. While only one town center for both players. Yeah, nobody did another one. Well, Barry can see those. No, he cannot see those uh, those villagers mining gold. When he will come out with those uh, crossbows, now future crossbows with fletching, finally for Barry, he might be able to find those villagers mining gold. But the Chinese player already building a defensive tower, so Barry, you better be faster now with your crossbows. Come out. Oh man, he won't be. And that tower will protect those gold miners. The Chinese player now sending spears. And he has now Chukonus. Okay, Barry is out of stone now. He doesn't have enough to, to build even a town center. Does he have a second town center? No, he doesn't. So he might have problems. Bakti really low with food. Wood is good for him. But now losing those villages mining stone. 62 pop 63 population. 20 less for the Chinese player. But killing another villager and another one probably will follow. Bakti sending a manganel to try and defend against those Chukonus. But let's see two monks. Two monks for... Chok Shong and the Chukonus are inside. Oh, up an, an okay shot. Let's see, he's trying to destroy the manganel and he will. Killing a villager. He might kill another villager. Barry is trying to repair the manganel and the Wu. A shot killing one more, but two monks healing the Chukonus and he's going back. Whoa, no gold for Barry. Actually, this might save the Chinese player and this might be. The, the loss for for Barry, no access to another gold. He's now building two more archery ranges in his base, and for sure he will go. Uh, he will go uh, skirmishers, skirmishers. Okay, the crossbows for Barry at the base of the tower, hitting the well. He killed the villager. Another tower now incoming from Chaokshong, while Barry doesn't have gold for. Well, for a, a few more archers, Manganel's coming out, Redemption, Redemption, research by Xiao Xiong. Well, actually the Chinese player might come back in the game. Just because Barry has no access to, to a gold, I'm surprised that he didn't try to build one town center to the other gold since he knew that he doesn't have another one in his base. 51 population for Xiao Xiong, 63, so the Chinese player recovering now, recovering, yeah, he can, he knew that he doesn't have another gold in his base, so again, surprising, and he will get the manganel converted, ay ay ay, he, well, he killed the monk, I agree, he killed the monk, but now, he lost the manganel, and those, 
those chicken the chukonos will still be annoying he's sending now some villagers out to another stone let's see if Xiao Chong will see and I think he saw it 64 population for Barry and 53 for Xiao Chong Xiao Chong can see the villagers going to the stone and no way sir he's gonna lose all of them building the mining camp but for nothing Barry denied of stone he has to send away the villagers well, he's on water, but what he can do on water? Building yes. a gate in one side, just to... And in the other side, also another gate. And we'll try to save those two villages outside. While Xiao Chong moving the villes forward to build another castle close to Bacti's base. And the Chukonos going around the forest to kill the yes. other... And GG called by Barry. GG called by Barry. Like I said earlier, no access to gold, no access to gold probably will make him lose this game and it happened. Why not, like I said, a town center to the other gold? Unbelievable, unbelievable. Okay, watching the achievements, it's 1-1. Military 25 kills for Xiao Chong, 26 losses. Units converted one for him. Largest army 14 to 11. Economy. Barry had, well, back to more food, way more food, 2,000 more food, and uh, over 3,000 more wood. Well, close to 4,000 more wood. But in the end, even, even though overall he mined more gold, he was out of gold completely. No other gold to go for stone well obviously way more for Xiao Chong since he was building the second castle so Xiao Chong winning home map for Barry no no his home map sorry game number two was his home map so even though Barry went faster feudal faster castle age still he lost it 54 villagers he even had 11 more villagers but in the end the gold man the gold matter coming back whoa okay the score is changed now we will see home map for barry and i think that barry will go let's see migration or regicide fortress i think migration or regicide fortress anyway time for a fast commercial and we will continue from there And they are going, they are going. One and a half minute spec delay. So one minute more or less and we'll be inside game number three. First home map for Barry, winner of game one. And in my opinion, I think he will go either migration or regicide fortress. Obviously he can pick any other map. But it's what I think he will choose. We will find out in a few seconds. Here we go. No, it's Rooster. So I was wrong. Okay. Rooster for Bacti. And we expect, obviously, Viking War. This is usually a very fast map. And the players are not complete opposite to each other. Also not very close to each other. Still, it's a, it's a good map. And if they go uh, forward... In front of their town centers to build the docks they will have really good uh, fish good deep fish let's see the golds the gold seems to be fine for back the also the berries to the back the same for the chinese player berries to the back gold stone gold stone yeah both players good one uh deers though very good yes. for for xiao Chong. very good for xiao Chong. close to the town center while for barry the same so I would say that both players, they do have some good maps. 
they do have some good maps so it will matter it will matter who will go uh, faster feudal age if the difference will not be really big then it will come down to whoever micro best that's for sure whoever micro better anyway this is the idea and barry seems that he will start to push the deers to the town center while shokshong will he, now he found the last two sheep and most likely will go to either take the first boar with the scout but i doubt it it's not islands or team islands he will need the scout or like barry to push the the deer yeah, and Barry already won deer inside the town center. He did good. And now sending the scout to do what? To push another deer? Really? You have to, to walk such a long distance? Yeah, the Chinese player even pushes two deers? Whoa, okay. Now that's some skill. If he managed to go for the other one back and push it. Oh, but that, that deer going cuckoo anyway anyway he's still close he's still close that deer well he didn't got it c very close to the town center but still in the reach of the town center so it's not a big deal now players sending villagers to build the first docks chok chong will build it first or yeah i think he will build it first and he's bringing also the first boar to the town center same as barry the first boar to the town center and after this house bay will place the dog while the chinese player already started to to build the the first dog so uh, he will have the fishing ships faster than barry let's see how many though don't get housed don't get housed oh 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 he's not finishing the dog he has to build first yeah he has to build first a house oh ho, ho. 14 pop for him 15 for barry and barry will finish the dog i thought that the chinese player will be faster why don't you build it with one one of those villagers taking the boar or the deer anyway not a big difference about the same but still barry with one more uh, villager i yeah one more villager 15 for him 14 for chok chong now pushing the second deer and coming with the second boar in the town center okay getting it while the second boar for back tea and he didn't go for the the second deer already one fishing ship out for both players still one villager difference in, in barry's favor but why i, I don't know i didn't see shock shong losing any did he research no no loom no loom for for either player so it's even more weird anyway back t now will find the dog for the chinese player there he is he can see it now and the chinese player uh, also sending the scout to find back this uh, dog and he will he will 21 population Xiaoxiong, Xiong, but he seemed to be lower with uh, resources with food. But now he's researching, no, Barry is researching Loom. Can he see the dog? No, he's missing the dog. Unbelievable. While Bakti, after this one, dropping the food, dropping the food, and he is on the way to feudal age. While Xiaoxiong Xiong only now researching Loom three fishing ships for back tea, making another one 23 pop 23 now for shock shong and after this one dropping the food and go up but he will be later to feudal age with oh 33 seconds ooh, 33 seconds that's one full galley one full galley out already for Bakti and sending straight to his dogs. And the Chinese player still didn't find Bakti's dogs. He will. He will send that scout close to the water and he will find it. I assume at least. No, he's going back with the scout. Unbelievable. And Bakti has the loom, no problem. He might delay the second dog. 
is building also the second door and since that villager is not walled he might delay it hit the wheel hit the wheel what are you doing what are you doing anyway it's up 24 pop 24 pop also for back t back t building the third dog now and the same the chinese player but now back t also with those small palaces just to uh, deny the chinese uh, player using the scout and delay his 27 uh, <clears throat> okay and the chinese player still needs more time the chinese player still needs more time and back to already with the galleys out whoa from all three dogs now from all three dogs okay 25 population for back tea and 24 for xiaoxiong both players for fishing ships and three docks yeah the galleys are already out but uh, it's not a big difference still not a big difference yeah by the time barry is in uh, in his docks the Chinese player will have the same those yeah those galleys out to defend let's see let's see back to now can see it and already hitting one galley but he's coming with the third galley now let's see and the third galley as well for Chao Chong and since he is closer to his dogs oh, oh, oh but almost losing one almost losing one galley almost losing one galley and and Ooh, saving no okay the first kill for barry and now he has four galleys and only two for xiao chong 30 population the chinese player and 34 for back to still one more one more villager fishing ship the same but six galleys to three it's three more for back t and back t sending his galley to snipe down the other ones let's see like I said, it will come down to whoever might was better, but now back he also lost one galley. He might he might destroy one in return. <clears throat> Fast microing, yes, he he destroyed another one. And some more. Oh, the fourth dog for Bacti. Now the fourth dog also for the Chinese player. But the Chinese player, let's see if he's gonna lose the scout hitting the villager now. Bacti's going with the scout and woo! okay not losing while on water <clears throat> back to chased by the chinese player he's going away with the galleys four for the chinese player only three for back to but back to sending now to destroy the other fish he, he managed to destroy one fishing ship already and now <clears throat> excuse me going with the galleys to fight <clears throat> with the chinese players galleys now three more galleys incoming and and the micro is really really important let's see oh back t losing another one the population is close for both of them now he's sniping down one more four dogs for both players not a big difference another snipe down but uh, again one for one let's see oh okay both players doing really really great military though look at back t almost double nine for him and five for xiao xiong now back t is uh, bringing the others also it's five difference also in now three difference in population 42 38 still one more villager and military two three sometimes four more for back t did he killed uh the chinese player scout oh yeah so xiao xiong lost his scout fletching now research though for xiao xiong while back t not yet but he has the numbers five more galleys now i heard also for back t where is it okay and researching fletching the same 40 48 population back t 42 for xiao xiong uh no farms no farms barry now building the first farm and sending villagers to take the deers with the mill uh, close very close in the range that is a great one 
but the same for the Chinese player taking the deers and the berries so it, it will come down to water to water and Barry has more the numbers oh but now losing two right away look at this so the Chinese player catching up just because he managed to snipe down two already well now back T sniping two three ay 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 things are happening so fast 44 population 45 now the Chinese player and 52 for back T 52 for back T man okay still four dogs for both players yep Barry as well one farm though for him now two farms for the Chinese player and on water 16 military to 12 still more for back T not a huge difference but still some difference and now seven population two more wheels for back T and five military five galleys idols two for Barry though now he's housed at 60 uh, 48 population though for the Chinese player and resources seems that uh, they are looking a bit better for the Chinese player at least for now 400 oh but now Barry yeah getting close to 500 even more and he still has oh nice wall market already done for Bacti getting really close to click up castle age while the Chinese player he didn't be now he's building the market as well he's building the market as well and he's repairing the galleys I like this still four dogs for both players yeah I don't see uh, too many and uh, number now five on military five military more and uh, two more villagers also getting close to click up castle age but Barry is already on the way to castle age Back T already on the way to castle age. Oh, 61 population for him. You see, guys, even Back T saying it's very yes. laggish. It's very laggish. So when you saw earlier, it, it was not from me. Anyway, it, it doesn't matter this. Let's hope that uh, they will be able to, even with the lag, they will be able to, to play good games. And Xiao Xiong is uh, now also on the way to Castle Age. Later, later with uh, 33 seconds. Still not a big difference, but still, I mean, by the time uh, he will have the same resources, he will have the same resources. Uh, Bacti will have, I mean, a War Galley and Plus 2 already, already done already done 65 population back to 25 military while 59 population for Xiao Chong 60 yeah and he has 21 still four dogs for both players none of them added the fifth one already back to uh, some more walls a little bit more walls at least they're in the back while where is his scout though I don't see now very scout so he might also have lost it close to the Chinese player town center probably 62 population Chok Chong housed at 65 63 now 69 for Bacti which is going to hit castle age faster than the Chinese player and there he is enough to research War Galley soon to research also Botkin Arrow the second wood upgrade and Botkin Arrow all the important upgrades for the War Galleys and for economy and he's moving already closer to those galleys but the Chinese player also now up he's researching Botkin Arrow and War Galley upgrade but like I said Barry Bacti could have them will have them faster already with the plus two and oh the War Galley is hitting and also the numbers belongs to him he has five more and he's moving closer and closer to trap Xiao Xiong but let's see now plus also from Xiao Xiong and 
They are hitting now each other. He will have Orgelis in a matter of seconds as well, but now losing one, two more. Oh, Bakhti getting closer to snipe a few more. And now Orgelis for the Chinese player as well. Still uh, nine, eight, nine more. The numbers for Bakhti. I heard the university for him and he's researching ballistics already. 77 population for, for Bakhti. Now he stopped a little bit and he's losing a few more. War galleys, 79 population, back to 65 for the Chinese player trying to avoid the fight. Does he have university? No. Town watch, ballistic for Bacti, so the important upgrades for him. Now Bacti is moving the fishing ship to, to try and save them and he's coming from behind with the rest of the war galleys. Ballistics now also for Chao Chong, okay, he's not, uh, he's not too late in doing that upgrade as well, but still he's gonna be a little bit later. Military numbers still, military numbers still not uh, not big, not big. Uh, seven. Ooh, now now eleven. It was seven earlier. Now eleven. What the hell? Now twelve more. Bakti, thanks to the thanks to the ballistics. Look at this. He's now pushing totally in the Chinese player. And by the time the the Chinese player will have ballistics as well. He might have lost all the war galleys on water. Look at Bakhti using one galley to take away the shots while the other war galley is hitting straight into those war galleys. Look at the number now. 20 something more. 27, 28 more. Bakhti winning clearly the water. And I wouldn't be surprised exactly to see the GG incoming from the Chinese player and he just did. Losing the water in this map is very very important and rarely you can see a coming back in this one after losing the water obviously. So we have Bakhti winning his whole map now and again taking the lead 2-1 in the game. Achievements fast obviously will change the score to one for Bakhti, military 45 kills, for Bakhti 21 losses, so double, while he had overall only 8 more largest army, 38 to 30. Economy, everything better for Bakhti, not a big difference, but just enough to win him the game. This is a very fast map and whoever managed to be faster and uh, also obviously microing better, yeah, he has the first chance to, to win the game. And we can see small difference, 20-something, 30-something seconds in upping times. Enough, like I said, to, to give uh, disadvantage, I mean, disadvantage for, for, for Barry uh, to win the game. Two more villages, so very, very close, very, very close. But in the end, Bakhti winning the water completely. Yeah, able to take the second game and taking the lead in this match. 2-1. Game number 3 will be again, no, no, uh, game number 4, sorry.